Japan isn't waiting for the future. Japan is already living in it. While the rest of the world is still talking about the future, Japan shocked the world with. Robots that deliver food. Cafes run by robots. Hotels that fit into tiny sleeping pods. The world's fastest trains. Naked eye 3D displays that make you stop and stare. These aren't ideas or experiments. They already exist. And the strange part is how normal all of it feels. So let me start with something that sounds impossible. First up is Toyota's basketball robot called CUE. And yes, this robot is built like a giant. CUE stands about 6 feet 10 inches tall, and CUE doesn't just toss a ball and hope. CUE locks onto the hoop with sensors and AI, instantly calculating angle, force, and timing before releasing a shot that looks almost pre-decided. Then CUE repeats that motion with terrifying consistency. Toyota even rolled CUE out during a B-League halftime show. At first, it felt like a gimmick, until the shots kept dropping. The crowd slowly realized this wasn't luck. The latest version, CUE 6, set a Guinness World Record by sinking 2,020 free throws in a row without missing once. That run took around six and a half hours. No fatigue, no nerves, just pure repeatable precision. Toyota didn't build CUE to win games. Toyota built CUE to learn precision. This is the real story. Japan is turning practice into code, and code into robotic muscle memory. Now the design logic flips completely. Instead of asking how robots should roll, Japan asked a different question. How should robots walk? That's where Corleo comes in. Kawasaki built this experimental robot to move like a horse, not a cart. No wheels, just legs. Corleo moves less like a machine and more like a living animal. Each step adjusts in real time. If the ground shifts, Corleo shifts with it. It can step over obstacles, walk on slopes, and recover from slips that would stop a wheeled robot instantly. On smooth roads, wheels still win. But the moment the ground breaks apart, rubble, stairs, rocky paths, Corleo suddenly makes a lot more sense. And this isn't about looking cool. Corleo is built for places where people and vehicles struggle to go. Disaster zones, remote farms, areas with no roads at all. It's Japan asking one simple question that changes everything. What if movement didn't depend on roads anymore? But Japan doesn't stop at changing technology on the ground. Sometimes, the shift is so subtle you don't notice it. Japan is bending reality with naked-eye 3D displays. The most famous one in Shinjuku, where a massive curved LED screen shows a 3D calico cat that looks like it's leaning out over the edge of the building. The cat stretches, moves, and stares down at the street, and thousands of people stop just to watch it exist. This isn't a hologram. It's a carefully engineered illusion. Precise angles, forced perspective, and visuals designed for one exact spot on the street. But that billboard is only the hook. Japan pulled the illusion into everyday life. In some 7-Eleven stores, checkout feels almost invisible. Images float in midair, and simple hand movements trigger actions. Museums use naked-eye 3D to give artifacts real presence. Medical teams preview complex procedures in true depth without headsets. Did your brain also forget this was a screen? Admit it and comment below. Japan isn't just upgrading screens. Japan is quietly turning flat displays into physical experiences. But some of Japan's smartest technology doesn't look like technology at all. People in Japan walk a lot. Walking is already part of everyday life, so Japan didn't try to change that. Instead, Japan thought, why not use walking itself as something useful? In busy areas, special sidewalk tiles turn footsteps into energy. As people commute, shop, or walk home in the evening, each step creates a tiny amount of power. One step doesn't matter much on its own, but when thousands of people walk through the same places every day, that energy starts to add up. Tokyo Station showed how well this works. As commuters move through gates and corridors, their footsteps help power nearby lights and displays. There are no signs and no effort required. People just walk, like they always do. In places like Shibuya Crossing, where crowds move in waves, the effect becomes even stronger. All those footsteps combine into a steady, reliable source of energy. And the best part is that nobody has to think about it. The tiles feel like normal pavement. Nothing looks different. People keep walking, and the city quietly responds, doing more without asking people to do anything extra. If you enjoy seeing how Japan finds value in even the smallest details, make sure to subscribe for more like this. And then Japan breaks its own rules about speed, not by pushing wheels harder,
but by removing them entirely. The SC Maglev doesn't race along the track. It floats above it, silent and untouching. During testing, this train crossed 375 miles per hour, faster than any train ever built. And this isn't a lab experiment. The Chua Shinkansen is being built to carry passengers between Tokyo and Nagoya. Instead of fighting friction, the train avoids it. Powerful magnets lift the SC Maglev off the track, allowing it to glide forward without ever touching the ground. At these speeds, the biggest challenge isn't the track, it's the air. That's why Japan reshaped the train like a blade, cutting through wind instead of pushing against it. And if anything goes wrong, the train can smoothly return to wheels and slow down like a normal rail car. This isn't just a faster train. It's Japan rethinking what rail travel is meant to feel like. Trains that float and cities that think Japan zooms down to a tiny problem, getting caught in the rain. And the solution is pure Japan, a flying umbrella. A small drone carries an umbrella and hovers above your head, following you so your hands stay free. Imagine walking through a sudden downpour, hands full, and the umbrella simply follows you. That's the idea behind free parasol. A small drone floats above, quietly adjusting itself so the umbrella stays right where you need it. Of course, it's not perfect. You still hear the soft buzz above you. But that's not the point. Japan keeps looking at everyday annoyances and asking, can this be made easier? Even an awkward first version feels like a promise. That small problems are worth solving too. Would you actually use this outside? Be honest and share your thoughts below. Japan often starts with practical problems, but not every project follows that path. However, some ideas are about exploring how machines move and how that movement feels to us. Alter 3 was created in Japan not to look human, but to feel alive in motion. The robot shifts its weight, turns its head, pauses, moves again. Nothing feels rushed, nothing feels repeated. Alter 3 doesn't follow a fixed pattern. It reacts in the moment. There's no clear script, and that's what makes people stop and watch. The movements don't feel planned, they feel chosen. Because Alter 3 doesn't try to look human, your attention stays on how it moves. Small changes in posture and timing make people start reading meaning into those motions. Viewers begin to feel presence, as if the robot is aware of the space around it. That's why Alter 3 appears in art shows, live performances, and even on orchestra stages. The goal isn't smarter machines, it's something quieter. Japan keeps crossing a different line building robots that feel real enough to change how we react to them. Now we reach the most unsettling part, robots that are built to look exactly like real people. At Osaka University, Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro created the Geminoid series. These robots aren't inspired by humans. They are direct replicas of real people, copied down to facial structure, skin texture, and small movements. One of them is even a replica of Ishiguro himself. The most well-known version, Geminoid HI. One is built with silicone skin, real human hair, and carefully shaped facial features. When a Geminoid sits still and makes small movements, many people can't immediately tell whether they're looking at a human or a robot. From a short distance, the difference almost disappears. That feeling has a name, the Uncanny Valley, and Japan is stepping into it on purpose. The Geminoid doesn't think on its own. Instead, it acts as a physical stand-in. A human operator controls it from somewhere else, and the robot mirrors subtle cues. When it speaks, the mouth moves naturally. The eyes blink at uneven moments. The head shifts as conversations flow. At one point, Ishiguro used a Geminoid to teach a class while he stayed in another location. Even though students knew it was a robot, many still said it felt like the professor was actually in the room. That reaction is the real experiment. The Geminoid shows that presence isn't about being alive. It's about how closely something matches human timing, movement, and physical space, and how easily the human brain fills in the rest. If Ishiguro and his Geminoid replica were standing in front of you, could you tell which one is human? Share your thoughts below. Japan doesn't only rethink how people move or how machines behave. It also pays close attention to something very basic, rest. That's where capsule hotels come in. They started as simple budget pods, designed for people who just needed a place to sleep. But over time, Japan treated them like a design problem. How do you help someone truly rest in a very small space? Modern capsule hotels are the result of that thinking. At the Millennial Shibuya in Tokyo, guests stay in smart pods where light, sound, and temperature are controlled through a simple interface. 
Instead of snapping you awake with an alarm, the pod eases you back into the day. The bed gently shifts. The light slowly warms like natural morning sunlight. Another example is Nine Hours, a capsule hotel chain in Japan built entirely around sleep quality. The idea is simple. Check in, sleep, and leave. Inside the capsule, basic sensors track things like movement and rest patterns. In the morning, guests see a clear, simple summary of how they slept. With clean air, quiet controls, and full privacy, these capsules stop feeling cramped. They start to feel intentional, designed around how the human body actually rests. And this idea keeps repeating across Japan. Technology doesn't try to stand out. It quietly blends into daily life, doing its job without demanding attention. And now, the backbone of Japanese daily life, the Shinkansen. For millions of people, this isn't futuristic technology. It's just how life moves. The Shinkansen connects cities at incredible speeds, but what really sets it apart is reliability. Trains arrive so precisely that delays are measured in seconds, not minutes, seconds. The trains ride on dedicated tracks, free from slower traffic. When a train pulls in, cleaning crews move like a practice dance. Seats reset, floors cleaned, trash gone, all in just minutes. Japan doesn't just run fast trains. Japan runs a system where speed, safety, and trust show up every single day. Let's talk about something that looks old school, but is secretly genius, the kotatsu. A kotatsu is a low table with a small heater underneath and a thick blanket draped around it. You sit down, pull your legs under the table, and the blanket traps warmth around you. No loud heater, no wasted energy, just quiet comfort right where you need it. That's why people joke about the kotatsu trap. Once you're warm, you don't want to leave. Families eat, study, and talk around it. Friends sit closer and stay longer. The whole room doesn't need to be warm. Only the moment does. That's the brilliance of the kotatsu. It solves the problem efficiently, but it also changes behavior. In one simple table, Japan shows that the future doesn't always look high-tech. Sometimes, it just feels human. When you line all of this up, the robot that never misses, the machine that walks like an animal, screens that bend reality, cities powered by footsteps, trains that float, umbrellas that follow you, robots that feel alive. A clear picture starts to form. Japan isn't trying to impress anyone with flashy inventions. Japan is quietly redesigning everyday life. Each idea solves a small, real problem. And when those solutions stack together, they don't just change technology, they change how life flows. If you like how Japan quietly improves everyday life, make sure to subscribe.